Young Show. Hello. The experts say it's the little things that get us and uh, keep us on the rack. We can sit upon a mountain, but not upon a tack. Our story tonight takes place in a nice little town in a nice little house on Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day, give your sweetheart a box of candy today so you may continue beating her the other 364. Hmm? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Oh, oh yeah. If all the girls on earth were put together in a line, and I could have my pick of them, I'd choose you, darling, to be mine. That little poem I just delighted you with, that was from a valentine. The most gorgeous valentine I ever saw or ever hoped to see. From an old lover, no doubt. Oh, no. No, nothing as simple as that. Howie Biddle. With Howie Biddle? Mm-hmm. Howie Biddle sent it to Lorraine Rose Albert when we were together in the fifth grade. <laughs> in the fifth grade? I was madly in love with Howie. <laughs> and he, along with every other boy in the class, was just gaga about Lorraine Rose. So there you sat, long and pale blue, longing for Howie Biddle's affection. That's right. Who... Oh by the way, is now bald as a billiard ball. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I remember him when he had the most gorgeous chestnut and wavy hair. Oh, yeah. He was the Prince Charming of our room. I'll get the car. Yeah, okay. Hey, fellas, come on. The bus driver's wolfing down his last bike. Okay, Ma. You do something to me. Make me sick. <laughs> oh, honestly, fellas. That's not very funny. Sure. It's for Bonnie Crump. Everybody oh. sends her goony ones. They do? Yeah. Oh, poor Bonnie. Listen, fellas, why don't you all be different? You know, I remember when I was in the fifth grade. Hey, fellas! Uh, so long, Mom. Yeah, so long, honey. Goodbye, darling. Hey! Goodbye. Mm, there you are. Don't forget your lunches and your Valentine's, for heaven's sake. Oh, well, here's another one down here. 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 Oh, this is mine. All right. Off you go. Hurry up. Bye. Hurry up. Bye. Close the door, Al. Oh, boy, do I remember the fifth grade and Valentine's Day. Don't let this be a joke. If I could roam 
to a million places and search the whole world through, if I had my choice of a million faces, sweetheart, my choice would be you. Wonderful, wonderful. even smells good. Oh, honey. Lorraine Rose in her heyday never received anything so gorgeous and gunky. You know something? You out Valentine Howie. Hmm? Susan, is this a joke? I'm doing a meeting right now. Uh, come on, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Play it cool, Romeo. I'll get you later. But darling, I just want you to know I love it. And you too. dollars and 35 cents. Connie, it's me again. Please. Yes? David, you did put a large black lace valentine in our mailbox this morning. Black lace what? Valentine. A black lace valentine in our mailbox. It is from you. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, David, I'm serious. I want to know. There's a big black lace valentine. It was in our mailbox. It's very big and it cost $3.35. Now, honey, you said it. I, I want to know. Susan, if after being married to me for over 12 years, you don't know me well enough to know that I would not spend $3.35 on a valentine, then I think our marriage is in serious trouble. Yeah. Okay, honey. Go on back to your meeting. Bye. Bye. Could have been the boys. Mama, of course. Who I am. Hello. Hi, Mom. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Valentine's Day? Oh, I forgot. Signs of age. Was I surprised when I found my gorgeous Valentine in the mailbox? You know, first I thought David sent it to me, and I called him. He just barked at me. Honestly. I wish you could have heard him. If after being married to me for 12 years, you don't know me well enough yet to know that I wouldn't spend $3.35 on a Valentine, then I think our marriage is in serious trouble. $3.35? Mm. Well, that's ridiculous. When I was a girl, we made our Valentines. That was the fun of it. Now, oh, come on. Stop playing coy. I know you sent it to me. Dear, if I had $3.35 to throw around, I'd have sent a box of candy to the boys. Well, then who did send it? Some secret admirer. I'll be over later to view the masterpiece. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, Mom. Uh, listen, I, I'm going to market, but I'll be back around one. Bye, dear. Good morning, Mrs. Blotter. And how are you on this lovely Valentine's Day? Oh, I'm just fine, thank you. You had a lot oh. of pretty cards, did you? Hmm, a few. I'll just bet you did. You know, you're the prettiest customer I've got. So it's nice seeing you. Oh, 
Go home. So long. What do you mean by that, Ellen? You wouldn't have. You don't you want to charge him? Hmm? Oh, yes. I was just looking for a penny for some peanuts. Oh. I don't seem to have any, though. Oh. For you? On the house. Thank you. Oh, said you got my card. Your, your card? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, I'm on the uh, parents' PTA committee, and uh, we'd like to have you come to the meeting next Tuesday evening if you can make it. Hey, you'll probably get the card in tomorrow's mail. Yes. There we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ago, wasn't it? That's right. Ridiculous, isn't it? Here we both live in the same small town. We never see each other. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, how are June and the children? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, what are you doing here in our neighborhood? Well, I'm in the real estate game now. I was just looking at a little house for sale up the block. House for sale in that block? Well, it's about two blocks away. I left my car up there and I was just walking around. <laughs> Trying to whittle it down later than you think, and uh, time marches on, you know. Yeah, it does. Uh, or do you? Gee, you look absolutely wonderful, Susan. I do? Sure do. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Howard. This is where you live. How do you know that? Well, you seem to be edging up the walk. I. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh. Well, I, I'm, I'm certainly glad to. I, I'd ask you in, but I... Well, I thanks, uh, anyway. i got to double time it back to the office as it is. Mm. Gee, I heard you lived around here someplace. I'm sure glad we ran into one another. Yes, it was nice seeing you. It's wonderful seeing you, Susan. You know, it's funny. I saw that good-for-nothing husband of yours a couple of weeks ago, and I've had you on my mind ever since. <laughs> well, so long. So long, Harry. Hamilton Glover. Howie Biddle is a happily married man. Susan! Oh, hi, Mom. I'm in here. Oh, I thought I heard you talking to someone. You did. I was talking to myself. This Valentine, this gorgeous Valentine, is driving me out of my mind. Gorgeous? Yes. Who said it? Well, who indeed? I don't know. But if a mere acquaintance happens to catch my eye, I'm immediately suspicious of his intentions. Oh, Susan. Oh, honestly. <laughs> You know, since this morning, I've turned myself into a regular femme fatale. The darling of every pair of pants in Fairfield. Oh, well, I have, and I'm exhausted. But I had no idea what a strain it is to be a great siren. Oh. <laughs> Still a child. Well, there's no signature of any kind, not a mark. No, there's no mark on the envelope either. No address, nothing. Well, maybe it's for one of the boys. 
<laughs> a black lace valentine? Oh, Mama. No, I'll tell you. There's only one person in the world who would dare send such a edifice to a married woman. Who? Her husband. No. No, I asked David. He said no, loud and clear. Of course he did. That's the romance of Valentine's. You don't go blabbing about that you sent it. Well, I don't know. I think not. There's some romance in David, but not that much. <laughs> It is a mess, isn't it? Mm. Looks like the spot where all the old roses go to die. Yeah, it's a regular fire sale of hearts and flowers. But I just love it. And I don't know who to thank for it. <laughs> you know, all my life I've wanted a gooey valentine. <laughs> it's funny. Because just this morning I was telling David that when I was... Oh, it's not funny either. Mom, you're right. You're absolutely right. Of course I'm right. Hmm? What? Well, well, at breakfast this morning, I was bemoaning the fact that I'd never received a romantic valentine, and so that dear, darling, wonderful husband of mine put out $3.35 as preventive medicine. Preventive medicine? <gasps> yeah. I guess he figured it was cheaper than a psychiatrist. Hmm? Nothing. Never mind. I'll tell you on the way to the store. Come on. You just came back from the store. I know, but I forgot the gardenias and the caviar. The what? The gardenias and the caviar. I wish you could have heard him on the phone this morning, denying that he'd send it. <laughs> I'm going to see to it that he joins the little theater group. He's really a very convincing actor, Ma. You know that? Susan, you're getting crazier by the minute. matter? Forget to pay that light bill? Oh, my goodness. You react as if a little gracious living around here were an unheard of event. Gracious indeed. <laughs> Black lace. Oh. Spanish rose. Uh -huh. Candlelight. Gardenias. Yes. And martinis. Yes. Midweek. And isn't that well, it is just caviar. Mm -hmm. What did you do with the kids? Sell it's, them? It's, it's not the expensive kind, but it isn't buckshot either. As to our children, Mama has them. But what's the occasion? It, it is. For one black moment, I thought I'd forgotten our anniversary. No. That was last month, and you did forget. But you made up for it today. That? that? Yeah. You think I sent you that? In my wildest dreams, I wouldn't send you a thing like this. Oh. <laughs> and stop giving me that a doll I can carry. The girl I marry must be. Look. Yes, dear. If I could roam to a million places and search the whole world through, if I had my choice of a million faces, sweetheart, my choice would be you. Well, it's not even good grammar. If I had my choice of a million faces, sweetheart, my choice would be yours. Well, it has to rhyme, you know. Well, then it should go, if I could roam to a million places and search the whole world through. <laughs> if I had my choice of a million faces, sweetheart, my choice would be yours. I like it just the way it is. Thank you. Mm. Now, look, if all of this is because you think I sent you that thing, mm. Then you'd better turn on the lights and put the caviar back in the jar. Because I think 335 for that all is right, absolutely all right, ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. But he thinks you protested too much. Here, eat. Susan, I didn't, really. Eat. Susan, I can't eat your caviar if you're going to go on under this assumption. I wouldn't pay Open. a nickel for it. Chew. Yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
White City Hall. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh. This is pretty grand for just mm. a plain old Wednesday. Mm-hmm. You know something? I think every day is pretty grand. You, the boys, our life. I like it. I'm very happy with you. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Boy, are you a cheap drunk. One what? sip of martini, let's give us a kiss. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. Now, look me right square in the eye, shifty one, and tell me. Honestly. Honestly, come on, tell me. <laughs> Oh, come on. You're, oh. you're the end, but I love you. <laughs> and I think your idea about sprucing up on Wednesdays is first rate. All right, all right. I don't even care whether you send it to me or not. Now, what do you think about that? <laughs> well, whoever it is, get rid of them. Oh, yeah. I'll get some more hors d'oeuvres. Huh? Okay. Hi. Good evening. Can I help you? Did you find a valentine in your mailbox today? A valentine? Yeah, a big one. It cost me three dollars and thirty-five cents. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we did. Oh, boy, I was scared there for a while. Could I have it? You see, sir, I bought it for Betty Adams, the girl next door. And I gave it to my stupid brother to deliver, and he put it in the wrong mailbox. I couldn't figure out why Betty was so mad at me all day until... Well, I asked her how she liked her valentine, and she burst out crying. Well, that's how I found out Stoop delivered it to the wrong house. I see. Well, look, son, I... Oh, you still have it, don't you? Look. Here's five dollars. Why don't you get Betty a, a nice big box of candy? You see, well, your valentine... Well, it's, it's sort of used up by now. Okay? Five bucks? You bet okay. Thanks, sir. Gee, there sure is a big profit in Valentine's. There is at that. Good night. Who was it? Oh, uh, some lovesick youth looking for Betty Adams. Oh. Delivering a valentine, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> you know, on second thought, I don't think you ought to try out for the little theater group after all. What? Well, you're not near as good an actor as I thought. Right now, it's written all over your face. <laughs> what is? That you sent me that... You know what? <laughs> oh. It is? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, lady. What? What you see is a love light shining in my eyes. If all the girls on this earth were uh, put together... In a line. In a line. <laughs> and I could have my... Hey, this is my valentine. And I could have my pick of them. I choose you, darling, to be mine. Here's Miss Young. Thank you, John. The heart of a woman is never so full of affection that there does not remain a little corner for flattery and love. Well, good night. And we'll see you next week.